And Fontaine, not affected by it. And these kids, they're kind of disrespectful to him because they can't grow a mustache. And there you see the intense stare on Justin LaBar watching this. And you gotta believe that he has gotta be so upset at Fontaine and yourself for how you've sabotaged his job performance. He should be upset with by Iron Man. Oh, no. Iron Man! Hey! Iron just beat Fontaine! Hold on! Here is your winner, the Rivalry oh! Wait a minute, this, this whole promotion is centered around Marion Fontaine. So much for that, huh? So much for our first impression. Uh, I'm gonna have to talk to upper management about this. Now, Dunn, I don't know what, he's counting so fast. It's what in the world? Hey, Fontaine, he just put his hands on the bar. He, no, he's he did our chair. Wait a second. This uh, match is over. What are you doing? Oh no! Jeez. I saw it with a chair after the bell. Take a seat, Greg Irons. Now, is this condoned in private wrestling when you get beat fair and square? Come on. Oh, yeah, I you better just, just back away. Here. Don't. Oh, jeez! Fun. Fontaine just, he just struck LeVar. What? It wasn't intentional, though. It wasn't intentional. Fontaine, and I, now looking at his face, I believe it was an accident. Can we get? It was an accident. Fontaine, he's, he's pleading his case. Let's make that clear. Didn't mean to do, I think he thought it was a referee. I think he, I think, uh, did he? Or was it intentional? I don't think he even meant to swing. He just felt somebody grabbing him from behind and self-defense mechanism. We can't rule this out. Fontaine's been wanting to get his hands on the bar for months. And that may but have not like a this. excuse. Plausible deniability. No, no, no. I have to make a couple calls here. We need to go off the air or something. I have to talk to some oh, people. Oh, this could be bad for Fontaine. No, no, no. What he thought was going to be a grand becoming for him has turned very badly for, for, for Justin Labar. It certainly doesn't reflect well on Fontaine either, but our, our thoughts are with the help of Justin Labar right now, who has not moved since he was struck by that chair. And Justin's not a wrestler, and he, he wasn't braced for that. He didn't see it coming. Well, I don't know that he, got that he should have been in the ring. You know, this is this is Justin Labar's fault. That's It's not Marion Fontaine's fault. Got we got to be fair to Mayor. He got struck right in the head, and his head just snapped. I, I, How could it not be Fontaine's fault? He was holding the chair. It's a smoking gun. Well, Labar, uh, hey, uh, he's never liked Marion Fontaine. Remember that time? Uh, he kind of really fast and screwed Marion Fontaine. You can't, out of it. you can't sugarcoat this. Your guy that you've been pushing on management just struck his one of his bosses in the face with a blunt steel object. Well, Marion Fontaine's going to be signing autographs after the show. I'll have to talk to him. I think he's making an appearance at is a children's gonna hospital. Is he going to be employed after the show? Well, children's hot. No. I mean, Fontaine's a, a is, is loyal her. employee. Our thoughts are with Justin Lombard. We hope to give you an update on his condition, our next episode of Prime Wrestling next week, right here. We'll see you then.